we are playing the Nigmos household, or I guess it would have been the Spectre household when you first started playing. But it's I called it the Nigmos household because it is just Ophelia herself and her two kids with Vidkind uh, Curious. <clears throat> and since her last name is Nigmos, that's why I just changed the name of the household to be what it should be, of course. And yeah, so we're just going to play as her today and the two kiddos. She is a young adult. She is in university. <clears throat> um, and since Olive Spectre did die in the last stream, um, she has been given some inheritance money now. So yeah, she's actually going to be heading off to class here in a second. But first, I want her to call for a service. So we have a nanny, of course. Oh boy, call for a service. Now I was really hoping she was gonna pull to get married this rotation. Oh my goodness. Um, answer it. No, don't do that. We don't have time for that. Literally, her class starts at 11 a.m. She doesn't even have time to be messing up. Okay, hang up. Hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up. <clears throat> hang up. Okay, call for a service. Call for a nanny. And then... Um, just for now. And then... Go to class, please. You're late. And I'm going to let you go without the nanny being here. Because you have to. There's so many weeds. We got to get rid of these. Good for you, girl. Okay. <clears throat> nanny should be here any second. Okay. Here, here she is. Um, Reset. Okay. So the nanny is here. And everything is just kind of speeding up. This week was amazing. Okay. Coolio. All right, so she wants, she needs to go potty. So let's have her go here. And then we're gonna have her take a shower. We're gonna have her eat something. Get some leftovers. Leftovers. We also should probably hire a, a gardener if we can. Did, is the nanny leaving? Is that what the nanny is doing? I don't know. She waved at us and she's like walking out the house. I thought she was leaving. Or is she coming to get the paper? That Sarah McCarthy has. Not sure what's going on. Okay. Take a shower. Get some leftovers. She is a family sim. She should be able to make soup. Is there not soup in here? If not, we're making some. As I'm sick of this sickness. So we're going to get rid of it. Hi, Lucy. Oh, boy. We literally just had the person here to fix the stuff. That's awful. Um, is this soup? I don't think that's grandma's come for soup. Let's just eat it. I don't know if it is or not. No, it's not. Okay. So we need to make some grandma's comfort soup. And the babies are screaming. All right. The nanny is over there. She'll probably get them. So if I can maybe knock out study about parenting and maybe learn couples counseling. She doesn't want to influence someone to write her term paper. That's not going to help her, though. She literally needs to build some skills. She needs three creativity, two charisma, and two mechanical. <gasps> Ooh, we could have her repair this. Yes, let's do that. Let's get her to repair that. Is the nanny taking care of the kids? I think she is. I mean, that's what we pay her for, right? So she's got to be... 
She's gotta be doing what she's getting paid for. Oh boy. Okay, eat that. And... Let's have her repair. The other baby is still screaming, but the nanny will get her. Let's try and work on her schooling. She really needs some help here. Two mechanical is what she needs. So if we can get some mechanical out of repairing this shower, we're going to do it. She doesn't need any cleaning. She doesn't need any cooking. So mechanical is probably the only one I can really get her to work on. Other, because charisma and creativity are kind of like... Not ones that you would just build automatically. Alright, we'll get repairing again. I hope the nanny gets these kids taken care of. I'm starting to worry. <laughs> Repair again. Okay, that baby's great. So we just need her to get rid of... Or, get rid of... No. Take care of Catherine. I think she just needs, like, a bottle. Oh, did she fix it? Unclog the toilet. And repair this. Ooh, you got lots of stuff that you can build mechanical skill with here. Fantastic. Alright, both babies are great. I'm happy about that. One less thing to worry about. I don't know if we heard it. Possibly. It's alright, though. Is this her skill or the skill of fixing the bathtub? <laughs> Can't tell. I think it's her skill. I think the skill of fixing that is blue, and this is, like, the actual skill itself. No? Okay, it's the other way around, then. Okay. Um, is there anything clogged over here? No. Okay. Um. Mm. Alright, well, she's getting fun. Wow. It went really snowy outside. What's wrong? Oh, the dog. Oh, man. What is that? Clean this up. Clean that up. And get the mail. Oh boy, she really has to pee all of a sudden. Get out of my bathroom! Ah, She's gonna pee her pants. She's literally gonna pee her pants in about a minute. Why is it still clogged? Oh my goodness. I thought she unclogged it. Oh, she's going to clean that up, too. Cool. Oh, only a day until the baby's age up. Perfect. All right. Once you go potty, you can come back out and get the mail. I figured she'd run. Look how low her bladder is. Is she just walking so slowly? As we look at the wall. Fantastic cutaway job there, folks. <laughs> it was an awful cutaway job. I cannot wait to remodel this home. I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely hate the layout of this house. And yeah. I can't wait until I can re I, until I remodel it after this rotation. I'm Well, when I'm done with this rotation, I'm remodeling it. Because I am sick and tired of it. And... She's sitting on 22000 here, and she'll get a pretty penny for the remodel from the society. Um, I have, like, a whole thing of, like, the government pays for them to remodel if it was, like, an EA home that they started with. Then EA, or, like, the city pays them a specific amount of money, and then they get to, like, 
do the remodels based off of that. Anyways, that's what I do. Okay, Grandma's Comfort Soup, and we need to pay our bills. So we will do that, but just let's make some Grandma's Comfort Soup. I think it'll be helpful. And then tomorrow, the baby's age. And we didn't get one, even not even one mechanical skill. She literally has 52 hours left until she is going to flunk out. And anyone that flunks out, if, um, the problem is, is like if they flunk out of university, right? Like I can just not put them in until they should be placed down, you know what I mean? Or not play as them or whatever. If they flunk out and they live in the town, their aging is going to be screwed up. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to um, figure out how I would how I would do that. Whether I would just give them the extra days back or like whatever, so I can kind of keep aging in check. Because I don't I don't want people's aging to get out of check and that's why I had every I'm having like everybody go to uni university whether they flunk out or not. I don't think I've had many flunk out honestly, maybe one. Maybe not even one. I can't even remember at this point. Okay, well it is 8:16 at night. And we have 51 hours until our final exams. So I'm really hoping that the soup is going to help her feel better. She's thinking about her engagement, I do believe. She also has all of the ghosts here that are from her aunt Olive. I don't know what to do with them. What did you guys do with them? Did you guys send all of those to, like, the graveyard or, like, what? All right, let's put this away because this stuff is, like, a gold mine. Literally. And at least we can cure our land grab flu with it, so. We'll, um, yeah, we'll get that going. I think I'm going to have her study a little bit of parenting. Is our TV broken? Push the TV back. And study parenting. I know she hasn't done much with the babies, but they're just babies, really, so. You know, not much you can do. Okay, so the TV is fixed. All right, let's speed her up. Who's that I hear? Oh, Benjamin Cho. Who's that? Catherine? All right, why don't you go change Catherine's diaper? Oh my gosh, turn this off. Catherine could use a feed as well. Okay, and then let's feed her. Alright, feed her. Oh. Feed her. And then you can cuddle her. And then you can put Catherine here and then change Eileen. Why is Benjamin Cho so upset? Like, seriously.
These people are burning down their house. Burning down the house. Oh my gosh, she's on fire. That's literally The Sims 3. How insane. What? <laughs> Confused. Change their diaper. That's Sims 2, but I, I'm pretty sure before that it was Sims... It was Sims 3. Okay, put Eileen in the crib. Oh my gosh, it's one o'clock in the morning. Go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. Who's this? Benjamin Cho is still here, really upset. Are these all family sims? Tim Day... Timely Demise. <laughs> Peponi Moenda. Uenda. <laughs> okay, well, I just want to get her to bed. It is late. Well, it's two in the morning. Redonks. Ridicatory donks. Out of curiosity, can you set an alarm clock? Set for class. Cool. So you can set it. That is that's really cool. Alright, fast forward. I don't hear the babies crying, so let's fast forward. Ooh, I'm getting a little nervous. I think she might flunk out. She's literally like halfway done, too. Is it worth it to flunk out at this point? No, you put all that work into it. What is going on? All right, use this and unclog and take a shower. And then I will get you to eat something. Okay, there we go. Rerolling. Let's see if we can get something easier. Influence someone to serve a meal, influence someone to clean, and influence someone to do my assignment, influence someone to do my term paper. That is not going to help me. Girl. Yes, there we go. Yeah. I don't think that's going to give her a passing grade, though. I think she needs to get another one if she wants a passing grade. We did not pay the bills. What is wrong with us? Okay, now it's fixed. Hi, Piazza Girl. Welcome, and thank you so much for the subscription for 19 months. That is insane. That is insane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, Ophelia. I am good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing tonight? Just playing some Sims 2. She's thinking about marriage. Yes, girl. Roll for a marriage to... um. What's his name? Vidkind. Laszlo and Opal had their baby. I played that earlier today. So that was so sweet. Okay, she is classed at like 11 in the morning. Um, why don't you clean that up? And then call for service. Ophelia, please. What is something she would do on her own that's creative? Like, I guess that's kind of cheaty, isn't it? But I was going to buy her, like, something that's creative that she would like to do. But that's kind of cheating. Um, it was a boy. It was a boy. It's a boy. Okay, let's get a nanny. We named him Zavi. Or... Yeah, I think it was Zavi. Z A or X A V Y. No, I didn't mean track. I didn't mean track. I didn't mean that. Do you want to hire me for just now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also need a gardener. Our garden is getting real awfully bad. So let's call for another sim. 
Call a sim? No, I want a service. I didn't mean that. Call for a service. Because I don't think she's in a nature. No, she's in music and dance. Okay, let's do a gardener. Um, yes. Because we have a lot of weeds. It is the dead of winter, but, um, you know, we still need... We still need our garden taken care of. Okay, can we turn this off? Because it's too loud. Then I'm going to let you play some games. Why does this keep popping up? Tree table not found. Oh, she's feeding the baby. TV is so loud. Who is she feeding? Catherine. Be held. Be fed. How are you being held by the... What? I'm so confused. She literally has be held by the nanny, but she's being fed by Ophelia. That makes no sense. And it's like, like the drop-down thingy of that. That's weird. That's weird. <sighs> Excuse me. Are we almost done? Oh man, she's class now. I'm assuming the baby is fed and fine. Yeah, she just pooped her pants, but she'll be all right. All right, it looks like Lucy's back and the gardener is here. The nanny is here. She'll take care of the baby. So we don't have anything to worry about, really. Phone's ringing. That was interesting. She just re-rolled two of her fears. There you go. She's taking care of one of them. Okay, we're just going to back out. And we'll watch from here. Why are you mopping the road? Okay, there we go. Well, I did try to tell you to do stuff, and you literally try well, just went and fed the babies. So, let's have you come play some video games. And then, you want to learn couples counseling, you want to study about parenting, you want to influence someone to clean, you want to buy a toy making bench, and buy a bird cage. Wait! Hold up. Is a toy making bench. Okay, here's my question. Does a toy making bench get you creativity skill? I need to know because, because she really needs to it. She really needs um, creativity. And if it's something that would make her build creativity, then I should buy it. <laughs> so let's go see. I don't know if it'll show us in here. You're going to Google it. Okay. Because if that's that, if that's the case, then we should buy it. 
Um, I don't even remember where they are. Is it in here? It's this, right? Oh, look, we can get recolors. I think she likes brown. If it doesn't give her any, you know, creativity skill, then it's pointless to buy it because we don't need it. This is not even her hobby. I don't think it said either. I mean, it's fifteen hundred. The fact that she wanted it is a good enough reason for me to get it. It says that high mechanical and creativity help with using the toy bench, but it doesn't say it gains the skills. Okay, well, let's see if it does. Like, if she plays with it, like, uses it on her own. Oh, she wants to get a bronze in toy making. Okay, so let's make a Sir Bricks a lot. Let's see if she can get a bronze in toy making if it gives her creativity because we do need creativity skill we need three to get her to not be kicked from uni so this might be worth a shot and i'm not i'm not i mean i'm knowledgeable in the sims too but i'm not like that knowledgeable to know what builds what kind of thing some of it i know So it'll be a good test for if any of you guys are in our predicament and they roll that wish, you know? Maybe it'll help one of you guys out in the long run. I think she's feeling better, though. I haven't heard her cough at all today, so that's good. Uh, the babies do age up today, don't forget, so they will be toddlers today, so our life is about to completely change. Um, I don't really care. Just, sure. Does she get a skill while doing this? Hmm. <gasps> Ooh. It might be creativity. It's going up really fast. Oh, wait. Is that the progress of this? Hold on. <laughs> Always do that. Okay, sell it for 35. Make one. Hmm. That must be the progress bar for the one she's creating. Well, that didn't help me now, did it? And I don't think anything's broken in the house. Hey, Chapuka! All right, let's sell it for the thirty-five. Here we go. Ways to increase creativity: playing the piano, guitar. Drum set, bass, violin, or synthesizer. Playing the xylophone as a toddler. Drawing the activity table as a toddler or child. Painting a picture on an easel using the syntho... 
or Senso Twitch Live Finder on the Criminal Career Track using the Aqua Green Hydrophonic Garden and the, uh, from the Slacker Career Track, singing karaoke or singing on the microphone and writing a novel. Okay, maybe we should take her out to a place where there's a microphone then. Kind of like force her to to build that skill. I don't know. I, I just need one mechanical skill if something would break. Break my bath, lady. Just break my bath, please. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. <laughs> Just break my bath and then I can literally fix it. Uh, okay, she's feeding the baby. I'm going to give her a second while she feeds the baby. Who is she feeding? Um, Eileen. Okay, I don't even think Eileen's that hungry. So I'm going to have her come do this. And get some leftovers. And I think we should be good then. The gardener is still here taking care of all of these weeds. She's taken like care of this whole area. This was like filled with, with weeds. I'm not going to lie. So she's really killed it today. I love how they don't ever change their clothes. Even for like the winter time. <laughs> they just always wear the same clothes. Like this is literally like a summery outfit I would assume. It's really like a short sleeve, like a three-quarter shirt with like a hat that would help keep the sun out of your face or, you know, keep you cool or whatever. Oh, we're helping with the birthday now. And then the pants and the gloves. All right, here we go. Ah. Let's see. Oh, she's cute. Hold on, I can get a better photo. Look at her little face. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it just a second because the things are like in her face. Okay, let's get a photo of her if we can. Oh, she is adorable. Oh my, my heart, <laughs> my heart. She is so pretty. I think she's got her green eyes and her skin tone, her hair color. Well, I guess they both have that hair color because she, her dad is vidkind. Um, oh my gosh, just. Oh, so cute. So, so, so cute. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. Let's just have her, because she's probably going to age the other one up in just a second. So let's just have her take herself here. Who is this? Eileen. Okay. She wants to go potty now. Oh, she actually really, 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 really needs to go right now. So let's actually, I don't think we should sell these. Um, let's just put a potty in this room. Like I said, I am going to be editing this whole entire house because I am tired of the way it looks. I'm not lying to you. It is awful. So we're going to potty train Eileen in just a second. Um, yeah. If you could just, like, clog that toilet. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> worth a shot. Oh, oh, oh. She wants to get a creativity skill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. She might be like, oh gosh, I'm about to flunk out. I need to do something. How long do we have? We have 29 hours. We have over a day. We have plenty of time. We can get this built. We can... We can do writing on the computer. Or we could buy like a piano. She does like music and dance. So let's get her a piano. Do we think piano for Ophelia? Or do we think like a guitar? What do we think? Are you going to age up the next baby? Is that what that is? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we've at least potty trained Eileen a little bit. A piano? Okay, let's get our piano then. We're gonna. She's helping with the next birthday. Let's see. Eileen is going to dance. Oh, look at her. Oh, my gosh. They're both wearing the same freaking dress. Do they both have the same hairstyle? Okay, I can't, I can't see the kid. <laughs> I can't 
see again. Everything is in the way. I just want to see her. Oh my gosh, she's already putting her down. Oh, I don't really like the hair much. It's like not my favorite. Oh, she's adorable too. She's got blue eyes. I think she's got Vidkin's blue eyes, the blonde hair from both of them, and the skin tone from her mom. I literally think they're wearing the same dress. So I think we need to change one of their outfits, and I want to change uh, Catherine's hair. And since she aged up with that dress on first, I will let her keep it, and I will just change uh, Catherine into something else. Are they identical? Hmm. Would we have to put their... We would have to get them sitting side by side, I think, to see them. They're pretty darn close if they're not. Let's see if we can get them sitting side by side. Let's see. Let's have you crawl here. And then crawl here. All right, here we go. Here, Here's the picture. Oh, that's the back of the stereo. What do we think? Identical? Ooh, it's hard to tell. I think her eyebrows are different. They have different eye colors. I think her skin is a little bit lighter, isn't it? I think her skin might be a little bit lighter. If they do have different colored eyes. But their mouths and their nose, I think, are the same shape. I'm not sure about the face shape. So that's her face shape. And then this is hers. I think they might have the same face shape. Honestly. They're really cute. I do think I want to change her hair color. Her top hair. I like her hair. I think it's so cute. But I want to change her hair because I just... It's not my favorite, and I want to change her dress because they're wearing, like, the same thing. They're not identical, no. I don't think so, but they're very close. They are very close. Okay, well, she wants to learn to walk, but she needs to be potty trained. Well, let's see if we can get her there. I don't know if we're going to get Catherine there before she pees her pants, but we'll try. We can really try. Oh. Okay, potty train Catherine. Catherine, please don't pee your pants. Please don't pee your pants. Move it, Eileen. Move it. You're literally okay. in your sister's way of getting potty trains. Rana. Don't pee. Don't pee. Your mom's coming. Don't pee. She's going to pee, isn't she? Right when we sit her on it. I swear to goodness. No, don't play in the toilet. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, change Catherine's diaper. It's pointless. You wasted time. This kid needs... I wish you could throw them both in there together. That would be great. Anyways, she needs a butt changed. And then what else does Catherine need? Nothing, really. Um, This kiddo needs a bath and... Well, we'll change Catherine's diaper and then we'll put Catherine in the crib. And then we're going to get by a piano. Because why not? And honestly, she she likes music and dance, so it would be more beneficial for her to play piano. Where is... Oh, it's in her creativity. Um, piano. Do we sell the toy making bench or just keep it? Because she didn't want it. Why don't we just put it right here for right now? And then when I can, I will move it. All right, then I'm going to have her practice. Did you change? That is not. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. What is... Oh. Give... Bathe Eileen. Put Eileen in the crib. 
goodness. Um, get some leftovers, track this, and since they age up, I am going to save. I don't think Vidkin has met the kids quite yet, so I need to also have him come over and meet them too. I think Eileen is ador adorable, honestly. I just want to change Catherine's hair and clothes. And I think I will do that. And this is, yeah, it's still empty because we didn't get to potty train Catherine because she, she already went. All right, Eileen's good. Let's go. Good. Get her down. She's wearing one of those bear outfits. I really hate those. I like those PJs. Those are cute. I'm going to change the bed to blue as well. And this one is also, I guess, going to be blue. They went from having pink cribs to now wearing blue clothes. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what color these kids like at this point. I guess I didn't really know what they liked before. I just gave them pink because they were girls. And I don't know. I just thought that's what they would go with. Um, let's just go with this. That is gonna be good. Oh my goodness. All of these ghosts all the time. What does anyone do with these ghosts? Seriously. Do you guys just like leave? Oh, that wasn't enough. Get some leftovers. Do we just like leave them or like what? What do we do? Okay. I'll be here. I'll be here. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. You're going to make her die. Stop it. Her needs are too low for that. I should have gotten a picture of her getting scared. That would have been a good cover photo. But we're going to practice. Was this oh, man. She's already passing out. Okay, you know what? We'll have a plenty of enough time to do it in the morning. So let's let's get her finished eating and get her to bed. Was she just thinking about babies? Girl, you don't need more babies. You got two and you can barely take care of them at that. Okay, let's see. Auto lights to all lights. Who's out of their crib? Is that Eileen? Eileen, stop it. Oh, you know what? They need toys. We didn't even buy them any toys or anything. We just literally went back into the game. We're just like, screw you kids. <laughs> um, okay, let's get one of these. Let's get a xylophone. Let's get a little head. Um, I'm going to put these in What's-Her-Face's inventory. This can stay here. Let's get a little dollhouse. We'll also get a little bin of toys. Let's get a dollhouse. Okay, there we go. That should be plenty enough to get them through. What's wrong, kiddo? She needs a lot of stuff, but that's Catherine. This kiddo doesn't need as much. Don't play with the toilet. Come over here. I hate that they keep turning on these electronics. Get out of the toilet, please. She literally has to go potty. Oh. This is why having twins when you're in uni is really hard. Because we need to be building skills. And we can't even do it because we have to teach these kids. Okay. Let's have you just get up quick. Um, potty train... Eileen. She really needs it. Melissa, don't break my fridge, girl. Um, what? <laughs> what just happened there? No, 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 no. Please don't anyone scare her. Please don't anyone scare her. 
Potty train Eileen. Is she seriously getting scared again? I think she is. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> this is the second time it's happened, so we've got to get a photo now. <laughs> All right, good. Please stop before you kill her. Oh my goodness. Okay, she has Peter Pants, literally. Come on, Eileen. Your mom is trying to take care of your bladder for you. Can we seriously turn this off? And take a shower. Oh my goodness. And then go to bed. I don't feel like this bed is very good. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to actually buy her a really nice bed. Because that is taking forever for her to sleep in. Maybe it's just me. But it felt like it was going so slow. That one is this. What it was it? Energy of four. We can do so much better. This is an energy of seven, eight, eight, seven, seven, six. I like this one. And I think I'm going to do our house brown. Um, okay, let's do this. All right, then I'm going to have her sleep. Okay, I think Eileen went. Yes. Oh, now Catherine needs to go. Okay, we need a nanny at this point. We can't we can't handle this. Um We'll empty it when we're done. Okay, potty train, Catherine. I don't care. Catherine, come on. I wish the ghost would stay outside more. Add missing treats to Eileen and Catherine. And then go to bed. We might just skip class today just to get our creativity skill up. That might be a thing. Okay, you're going potty. They're not in bad moods. They're well taken care of. All right, cool. Oh, man. Wake up. Go to sleep. Um, she literally just rolled to woohoo in bed. Can she lock two things at once? No. But she doesn't want to have a baby. And she doesn't want to have something stolen. Welcome back. Okay, let's sleep. We got you a new bed. It should fill your sleep meter faster. Also, question, 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 question. Um, let's give her these. They're going to help her. Yep. That is going to help tremendously. All right. The girls are awake. <laughs> Catherine is just like a dancing. Always dancing. And Eileen is playing with the little bunny rabbit. So. Oh, she got a charisma skill. There we go. You go, girl. We need help. We need so much help. This does seem to be going a bit faster, so that's good. Because before it, like, barely moved and we slept for a couple of hours. So we were in a bed that was only giving us four.
Yeah, they're awful, aren't they? I hate it. And then they're like eating in the high chair and they're like shoving their whole hand in there. And part of the hand, like over the hand is like the glove part of the pajamas. It just looks like they're literally just slapping their hands into the food and then slapping it in their mouth with their, their clothes on. I just don't like it. I also don't really like the New Year's outfit, the New Year, the baby New Year's or whatever it is. I don't really like that one either. I'm gonna be honest with you, it is not my favorite. I probably don't really use it ever unless it's given to me. I don't really put the, my kids in it. I would prefer my kids to just not wear any of those outfits, but I just don't think it's realistic because I haven't, like, put in a lot of, um, oh man, Catherine is really hungry. Okay. I haven't put in, like, any, um, custom kid clothes in or, like, any clothes, really. So, yeah. All right, let's get up and get bottles for the kids. I think we've slept a little bit longer than I really wanted to. And since Catherine is just skin and bones, we really got to do this. And then we also need Eileen. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's... um. Let's put Catherine in here, and then we can put Eileen in here, and then we can eat, and then we can play the piano. Um, get some leftovers. Just put it down. She will get it. Drink. And that is all versions of The Sims. Yes. I don't know why they keep putting them in. I don't know why the ghosts keep turning their TV on. It's so annoying. But it, yes, it is all versions of The Sims. And it is so annoying. And I absolutely despise it. Did she just fall asleep? No. Drink. Are you seriously falling asleep? This kid. Wake up. Okay, go eat, because she's not ready yet. Eat the pancakes. Oh my goodness. Okay, we just got... We're not going to be able to go to class today. We're going to just skip, I think. Put Eileen in the crib. And then we are going to call for a service. Is she sleeping? Call for a nanny. Okay, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to have her play piano. Uh, just for now. Okay, let's get our creativity skill. I really don't want her to flunk out. We have 13 hours to get this done and she needs three creativity skills. Well, skill points, I guess, which is insane. Either that or one mechanical, but I don't think anything is broken and needs to be repaired. So we're kind of screwed on that front. Like, the way I play, anyways. Some people would just be like, alright, well, I'm just gonna force you to do it. But that's not how I play, so. I think one of the kids is awake. It's Eileen. Oh, no. It's, um, Catherine. Eileen needs to go to bed. So let's actually force her awake. So that the nanny can put her in the crib. Alright, she's about to get her creativity skill. I'm really hoping this is going to pull another creativity skill, like, instantly. Let's hope. Oh my god, is she serious right now? Reset. 
college, go to class, I guess. She's like late, but it's better to go have her go. I go wish base too, except if it is a challenge like the ultimate sim where they have to get certain things done. Yeah. That is different for sure. Okay, are you putting her in the bed? Okay, that's fine. Did you get your bottle? I don't know if she's gonna make it, guys. She needs one mechanical or two creativity or two charisma. So I guess it all depends on what happens when she gets home. Let's wanna entertain someone and meet someone new. We also need to get the mail when we get home. I'm gonna be sad if Ophelia drops out of uni. She'll probably be like my first sim. Has anyone else dropped out? I can't think. I don't feel like anyone else has. Not that like mattered with the age span. If they were like already in university, I don't really classify those people as counting because like they're not part of the game and they're not like friends with people until I move them into the mega hood. Ooh, 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 ooh. She wants to play piano. All right, let's pay the bills and then we're going to play the piano. Pay that, play that, or pay that. Jeez, I can't speak. And then come practice. Yeah, I agree with that. I If my sim is not a tinkerer, like if they don't like tinkering, um, and they can afford a repairman, I'll just call for the repairman. If they literally can't afford a repairman, then I will literally just have them do it themselves. But yeah, things like that, that. Like, things that they need. Like, if they are hungry, obviously I'll feed them. You know, I'll take care of their needs and such, but... I just don't force them to, like, build skills unless they really, really want to. I just really want her to stay in uni. I just want her to fin finish it and, you know, have, have a successful life. Though, all she wants to do is have six grandchildren. So, is going to university really worth it? No, probably not. But it is in my eyes for the aging aspect. I know I'm going to have people flunk out. And I still need to kind of think what I want to do about it. But, yeah. No, I don't want to be asked anything. I literally just want to play my piano for a minute. And when they click things like play the piano, I only let them get one skill level with it. I don't let them go until forever because I think in some things in The Sims 2, they are like endless interactions and they will literally sit there and just kill themselves off. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing just to keep my aging intact. Okay, she's getting too tired. It's so like this time, you know, she's too tired to do it. So I'm going to let her go take, get some sleep. Unfortunately, our kids are kind of suffering because, you know, we can't teach them skills right now because we're so busy for ourselves. Just trying to get, get off of academic proba probation. But I'm really trying here. I'm really trying here. Yeah, once they get the skill, I just stop them because I just like, okay, you wanted to play the piano, but you didn't want to play it like six, seven levels worth. You just wanted to play for a little while. <clears throat> so as long once it tells me they get a level, I just cancel them out of it. All right, let's have you get up to answer the phone. I've heard it ringing enough. Yeah, they do. It's kind of weird how sometimes that happens. I feel like it happens more than it doesn't, honestly. Um, 
Get some leftovers. Oh, seven hours. I'm getting really nervous. This might be it for Ophelia. She might be out. Man, this this um maid has not cleaned my house fully one day yet. Come on, we don't care about that right now. We have bigger, better things to be doing. All right, who's this? Eileen. Eileen is great. So I'm happy that the nanny is here and taking care of the kiddos because she's a lifesaver at this point. We might have to have her woohoo in the bed. What else does she want to do? Buy a bird cage? We could influence the nanny to clean. Oh, is the nanny leaving? Did the nanny just take money and she's leaving now? Is that what's happening here? Or is she just grabbing the newspaper? I can't tell what's going on. I also let the first one get that little logic boost from the crossword puzzle. Um. Oh, I always forget to do the crossword puzzle, honestly. Yeah, because I think that gives them fun, doesn't it? That would actually be a good idea. I'm going to try and influence her to clean to get a point. Oh, the first one that wakes up or grabs a paper. Nice. That's actually a really good idea. I'm, I might have to steal that idea. <laughs> Come on. Ophelia, you're taking forever. You literally spent two hours just taking care of your needs, girl. I really need you to focus on something better, bigger and better. He also wants to buy a florist bench now. That's kind of like, you know... Yuchi! Blue and to clean. Blue and to clean. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? Four hours. I don't know. Ooh, it worked. Yes! Creativity level two. Practice! Quick, 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 quick. Do it quick. She wants to be a business owner. Uh, she wants to do toy making. Oh my goodness. And flowers. Yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> she did not. Practice again. Try and practice one more time. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Alright. I think it's over. I think we've tried really hard. But it's just not working. I tried really hard to get her to it. If her energy wasn't so bad, I think we might have been able to get her to do it, but her energy is just awful. And I don't really know how to fix it, honestly. Like, I don't know how to fix it quickly enough so that she can get up and, like, do what she's got to do, so. I'll have her try one more time at, like, 9.45. We're actually literally going to have to call back the service for the nanny because I think the nanny is probably about to leave. And we're going to have to call her back before we leave. Okay, come come practice. We're going to try one more time. Oh, she has the final exam in one hour. Oh, my goodness. Also, the ghosts are not helping because that, when she gets scared, it literally drains her energy like that. And if it didn't do, if it, that didn't happen, she const she's been scared three times tonight. If that didn't happen, I think she would have gotten it. <gasps> oh. Oh. 
One hour until her final exam. She literally has what she needs. She literally has it. It's right here. But this is not gonna... I don't think it's gonna build fast enough. Yeah, she's on probation. She's literally, she's literally got an exam, I think, going right now. I'm curious if she was late, if she had it to the bar, would she actually pass? I was going to tell her to go at like 11.45 and see what happens. Because, I mean, either way, she's going to flunk out, right? So is this worth a shot? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. She's not quite building it fast enough, I don't think, though. I don't know. How long are the final exams? I can't remember either. All right, go to your final exam. You're not going to make it. You're going to flunk out. All right, Gina, we'll just stick around. I tried to hold her as long as I could, but she just... She didn't even make it. What's Eileen doing? Oh man, she's gotta go potty. And Catherine is tired. Where's the nanny going? The nanny can't leave. No, 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 no. No, nanny, you can't make. You can't leave. Nanny, you cannot. Nanny. We better hope she comes back quick. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it looks like Ophelia has been expelled from college because she suffered from a D for this semester. Oh, man. And she got charged for another semester of university. <laughs> Nanny doesn't care. Um... Yeah, unfortunate. All right, well, now we've got a bit of a dilemma because this is, like I said, my first time someone has flunked out, and I don't really know. I know we did try. I don't really have. I don't really know in my rules what I'm gonna do. Like if somebody flunks out like this, because technically she should have had what two whole more semesters, which are f I each or two whole more years, like junior and senior year. So she would have had how many days? Three, six, nine, twelve more days added to her lifespan. So she's like twelve days ahead now of everyone else in her lifespan um, that she like would have grown up with and everything. So I'm not really sure how exactly I want to do it if I just like want to let my aging to start get kind of wonky or like what I want to do. But I need to kind of figure out what I want to do because of the aging thing. You know?